Hello, hello everyone. My name is Naomi and this is the Easy QS channel. This is a channel where we help students revise for their exams and also explain civil engineering concepts in the easiest way possible. We have units in the construction field such as measurements and estimation and costing. And my passion really is in estimation and costing. So I would invite you to this channel. I am going to be teaching you so many concepts in estimation and costing of buildings that will help you as a quantity surveying, civil engineering, or a building student to help uh, be able to estimate and cost buildings. So, uh, in uh, estimation and costing, we know that we have the approximate estimations and we have the uh, exact estimations for example accurate estimations that are done by via the bq so in this channel mostly we deal with the bq in terms of taking off and doing the unit rates but still we have to study the approximate estimation which is mostly tested in the exams so like in our question today this is the next question that uh, had 12 marks and students were asked to use the story enclosure method to come up with the cost of a building. So it's my pleasure to serve you, to teach you, and in case of any questions, I'm always happy, so happy to answer them. Eh? And this is the Easy QS channel. So if you're new here, kindly subscribe. Uh, your subscription is your support towards us. We appreciate for the 3,500 subscribers. We are so grateful. Kindly help us to get to 10,000 subscribers and we shall continue to make more and better content for you people so that you can be able to be equipped with these skills that can really may help you even make money in this field. So in our question today, it's a module two questions for the diploma candidates. Uh, this is a, a question that came and you are asked to do a cost estimate using the story enclosure method. So here is our question and how we are going to solve it. Welcome. Okay, uh, we are told in the question, uh -huh, using the story enclosure method of approximate estimation, uh, estimate the cost of building showed in diagram number three, given that the unit cost is 38,000 per meter squared, has been suggested as the approximate rate from a previous similar building. The basement height is 4 meters, upper floor's height is 3 meters, all external walls are 200 millimeters thick. The upper floor's external sizes are 30 by 12 meters, while the basement external size is 50 by 25 meters. Now that was the equation, and you've told it's 12 marks. So what do you do when you're given such a question? The first step, whenever you're given such a question, is first to sketch. First sketch, so that you can make the, your calculations as easy as possible so we are going to look at the sketches that we have made for the basement we are told that it is 50 meters by 25 meters so it's 50 by 25 uh-huh then the upper floors the upper the outer dimension external dimensions is 30 by 12 okay so and the walls are 200 millimeters thick we already looked at uh, story and closure methods and other approximate estimation methods in our previous video if you haven't seen our video kindly check it uh, here so that we shall put a link uh, that will lead you to that video and also in the description box and also if you check our videos you'll be able to see the video with all the est est estimation methods with examples so uh, we shall basically just do this example as per the rules that we gave uh, we always start with the floor areas uh, if, when you're finding the floor areas we shall find the area for the ground floor uh, for the ground floor it's among the upper floors above the ground so we usually use internal areas so if this one was 30 meters and the thickness of the wall was 200 millimeters on both sides so we shall take 30 meters, 400 millimeters, we shall get 29.6. Then we shall take 12 meters, we deduct 400 millimeters, we get 11.6. So the area shall be 29.6 times 11.6. Then we shall do weighting by multiplying by a factor of 2. And we shall get 
0.72. Alright, so uh, we shall go to first floor. Uh, the first floor, uh -huh, we shall use, I will use a pointer to avoid the shadow. Uh, the first floor, we shall use 29.6 times 11.6. Then we shall multiply by 2 plus 1.5. Uh, when we say we multiply by 2 plus 15%, it's the same as 2.15. So, uh, for the first floor, we shall take the internal area. We multiply by 2.15. And we have said that 2.15 is the same as multiplying by a factor of 2. Then we multiply by 1.15. 115%. So, we shall get this one. Second floor, we shall take the internal area. We multiply by 2.30, which is the same as a factor of 2 times 1.30 we get this answer the third floor we shall take the internal area we multiply by 2.45 and we shall get 84 841.232 the fourth floor we shall take the internal area of the upper floors we multiply by 2.60 we shall get 892.736 remember that we said that for the all the upper floors the higher we go we add 15% for each floor. If it was um, for first floor, 15%. Second floor, it shall be 30%. Third floor shall be 45%. Uh, fourth floor shall be 60% as we go. So we shall take the internal floor area. We multiply by a factor of 2 plus, uh, if it's fourth floor, 60% of the answer. All right. So, uh -huh, we shall go to the basement floors. The basement floors has different dimensions. It is external dimensions, 50 meters by 25 meters. The, the thickness of the wall is still 200. So, the internal dimensions, we shall take 50, we deduct 0 0.4 for the walls, we shall get 49.6. All right. Then, for the wind, it shall be 25. We did that 400, we shall get 24.6. So the areas for the basement shall be 49.6 times 24.6, we multiply by a factor of 3. We get 36.48. Alright, then we shall go to the roof, roof area. The roof area, we can see that the roof must be equal to the area of the fourth floor. There was no if here. So it's just that when you are measuring for the roof, we shall take the external dimensions of the walls. Right. So if the walls uh -huh, for the upper floors were 30 meters by 12 meters, so that one will be the dimension for the roof. Then the roof will multiply by a factor of 1. We shall get 360. Then we shall finish with the wall areas. The wall areas to get the, per the area of the wall, we take the perimeter of the wall, we multiply by the height. So for the uh, substructure walls, which is the basement, the perimeter of this wall shall be 50 by 25. See, 50 plus 25 times 2. Because perimeter is equal to 2 into bracket length plus width. So, uh, 2 into bracket length, which is 50, and width is 25. So, we shall get 150. Okay, so having 150 for the... Uh, perimeter of the substructure walls, we can be able to find the area of the basement wall. So here we shall take 150, you multiply by 4, 4 is the factor for the basement, eh? uh -huh. for the walls for the basement, then we multiply by 1 basement, we get it's 600, 600, sorry, uh, the height for the basement was the one which was 4 meters, sorry. So, uh, for the area of the basement, we shall take 150 perimeter times the height, which is 4, then we multiply by 1 uh -huh, to get the area, then we shall multiply by 2 